genre itself, I really, I've always been um, enamored with the with the sort of shameless sensuality within the genre. You know, the, unlike any other genre. You know, and um, and also the shameless excess uh, to which these creatures live. You know, and how how uh, deeply they feel sensorially. Is that a word? I use it a lot. I never know if it's actually a word. I'll have to check on that. When I got this, I started getting into like the, just like checking out, and we have different rules, you know what I mean? And everybody kind of has different rules, so we're kind of figuring out what we are and what kind of our style is like, which I guess is more or less just real people that, that you know, live their lives and yet become vampires, and my guy's a little bit, you know, eccentric and that sort of thing. But uh, I got much more into it after I got it. It is so hard. Yeah, man, because you just learn like a mortal, powerful you know what i mean and then you get these special attacks where you go like this and the beam goes all the way across the room and you're like no big deal you know what i mean it's like wow it's cool it's good. all these types of uh werewolves dracula all, all that stuff's always been fascinating to me it's, it's it's just a cool genre you know i think they're real no, i'm just kidding i don't think <laughs> but uh wouldn't it be cool if they were so i i, I dig the fact that this is sort of set in that tone I'm yet to kind of make the connection between why drinking blood from somebody is sexy. It doesn't quite float my boat, but um, I'm very interested in, in the immortality theme really more than anything else, and as a storyteller to kind of play out that relationship. I think I've mixed path, I would imagine. I mean, I'm not going to be even this thing and go sleep with a bunch of women or something like that, you know? I'll leave that to my acting career. Very dramatic. I like it. I think it'd probably be a combination of both. I think I'd go the Joseph path, and then I'd be racked with shame and guilt, and I'd, I'd sort of, but then I'd do it again, and then, you know, for eternity. <laughs> so I, I think that's probably a fair guesstimation of what would happen. Ada Talbot, Ben Talbot. He. Uh, He's basically, you know, we're learning more and more about him all the time. It's a little bit mysterious in the sense that he's uh, he's driven by his work. He's out to do whatever he has to to get the answers to solve the, the problems going on in town, the crimes, uh, yeah, as, as they be. But there's uh, an interesting um, fondness, let's say, towards, towards Beth. I mean, Mick and Beth are quite kind of wary of him at the beginning because he's very kind of, kind of tough and forthright and a bit, you know, he's a bit rude, actually. Beth. That's what happened. Maureen. She was murdered. And you are? I'm Mick St. John. I'm a private investigator. Right. Yeah, of course. I've heard a lot about you. Good things? No, not really. Excuse me. They brought in a new hunk to kind of spice things up a bit, so um, we'll see. What's his real motive with Beth, you know? That's sort of the why he was brought in. At the moment, we still very much have the Romeo and Juliet thing going on. I wouldn't recommend to any girls out there to start and you know to get into it involved with a vampire now that I know what it entails um, because you know there's issues of you know can they have kids together um, she's going to age he's not. I really like the dramatic tension between the, you know that is that is that is there because these two haven't Obviously, there's the she's an attractive girl, so there's going to be some of that brought in, maybe for a little bit of a love triangle possibility. Let's hope. I mean, up at this point, it's purely a professional relationship between her and him. I tried. It's some kind of surgical tube. It won't budge. What kind of psycho is this guy? Nick will find us. He's good. He's really good. Yeah, and most likely really dead. Don't say that. You don't know that. Oh, Beth, come on. I'm gonna face the facts. No one knows where we are, and no one is coming to save us. We're on our own. Uh, I think it'd be a pretty, pretty. It'd be pretty good. But Nick would win. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't help the facts, factorum, <laughs> you know?